I think humanity is responding to climate change, but as as we were just referencing in the question of fear and government, there are too many there are too many interests that are profiting from the current system, and so even though I mean again this is another one of these issues where. Most people, when you talk to them, are concerned about the environment. And more and more people are concerned about it because it's what's coming out of their faucet. <laughs> right? And I don't just mean in Flint, Michigan. Um, it, it's because of fracking. It's the air. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's, it's our bubble. We're all part of that ecosystem, and we're basically destroying where we live, where we eat, what we, you know, the air we breathe. I think, though, that there's a great reticence among the plutocracy to change it again because there is just too much money in it. Not only have we found out in late, late recent months that Exxon <coughs> knew that they were contributing to climate change and the worsening of global conditions uh, 30 odd years ago, we've just recently discovered that more oil industries knew as early as the 1940s that this was going on. Shouldn't be a surprise, I don't mean to be cynical, but it is true. The same thing went on with tobacco, with asbestos. Dangers were known for ages, and the, it was foot dragging over profits, profits over people, and that's the model. Now, with tobacco, with asbestos, it's bad, millions of people die. With, with climate change, it means it's game over. We have one place to live. That's it. And uh, I think that if, if we don't uh, really seriously uh, mobilize around those issues to force those kinds of changes, Right? Once again, if we actually had democratic government, those things would change because people are waking up. People don't want to plastic. People don't want this. They don't want garbage in their foods. They don't want additives in their foods. Right? But the government response is, is to not let you know what's in the foods, right? to increase additives in, in foods, allow those types of things. So it, it's, really, it's really kind of, kind of backwards. But I think, I think we're, really missing, uh, we're really kind of missing the boat here. I, I, the genie's out of the bottle. Can't put it back in. And even if we would reverse everything that we're doing right now to damage the environment, it would continue to worsen for decades. And again, I, I don't want to seem cynical. I have kids. I, I, have a, I like the planet. Uh, I have interests here like everybody else does. But it's very difficult to, to wrest uh, power from, from people that just, they just refuse to see it. They refuse to see that. And, and climate change may well likely uh, go down to be you know, the most significant human blunder in, in, in our history and, and lead to the collapse of our civilization.